The Fibonacci sequence is a string of numbers that begins with zero, and one which can be extended infinitely by adding up any two consecutive numbers to find the next in the sequence. When we add zero and one, we get one, which is the third Fibonacci number. Then we add one and one to obtain our fourth Fibonacci number, which is two. And if we continue with this elementary exercise, in addition, we get the numbers 3, 5, 8, 13, 21, 34, 55, 89, etc. in a pattern that can be extended all the way to infinity. As the world began to develop its understanding of mathematics, we soon realized this string of digits was of fundamental importance, and today we apply this knowledge in all manner of practical ways. Search algorithms, stock trading, gambling odds all make use of the Fibonacci sequence, but the way in which you have most likely encountered it is via the mysterious golden ratio, which appears in more random stuff than MSG and Jesse Hyman combined. The golden ratio is a mathematical term used to describe the relationship of two figures, whereby the numbers seem to be in some form of complementary ratio. If you have a number A and a lower number B, then the two are in the golden ratio if the ratio between A versus B is similar to the ratio between the sum of A plus B versus A. The Greek letter ascribed to this ratio is phi, and its value was contracted to 1.618034. Basically, anything which comes close to this value in terms of its ratio is said to be perfectly proportioned. The golden ratio can be used to calculate perfect spirals, golden triangles, and other shapes and patterns, too. But what does this have to do with the Fibonacci sequence? To link the Fibonacci sequence and the golden ratio, we must look at the ratio between two consecutive Fibonacci numbers and observe the pattern this ratio takes as you go on. Because it turns out that the further along the Fibonacci sequence you go, the closer the ratio between any two numbers is to the golden ratio. The ratio between 3 and 2 is 1.5. The ratio between 5 and 3 is 1.66. And if we skip along a few to see the ratio between the 12th and 13th Fibonacci numbers, we'll see that their ratio is 1.6179. As we mentioned earlier, the golden ratio is 1.618034. So clearly the golden ratio and the Fibonacci sequence have some sort of link which we haven't worked out yet. And that is why so many smart folks have become absolutely obsessed with it. The golden ratio has fascinated the world's most knowledgeable people for millennia since its discovery. And we have seen its influence in some of the finest works mankind has ever produced. Modern artists and architects know about the golden ratio and are known to apply it purposefully to their works. And we know that at least some historical buildings and artworks were created by people who knew of the golden ratio and its value. But this inexplicably pleasing proportion has been used by people ignorant of its existence, too. So, is the golden ratio merely something which all human beings are attracted to? Is it something that we find inherently satisfying? And is this love of the number 1.618034 limited only to humans? Is the golden ratio a universal law applied by nature? The evidence seems to suggest so, and the aforementioned Leonardo da Vinci may have alluded to this in some of his most famous works. Did you know that the golden ratio even applies to our DNA? It's true, as both our double helix spirals and the composition of a single DNA molecule both seem to have been made in accordance with the divine proportion of the golden ratio. And it's not just humans either. As we've seen the ratio demonstrated in the shells of snails, the number of petals in a flower, and the arrangement of individual seeds within seed heads. Pine cones, tree branches, and root systems also follow the golden ratio, as do some forms of algae and the bodies of certain animals. Some creatures even live according to the golden ratio, with honeybee colonies known to maintain a ratio of males to females at 1 to 1.618. So, is this ratio evidence that nature has been somehow designed? Was everything on Earth created by a god or advanced extraterrestrial race to adhere to a certain number? It does look a little suspicious. 
especially when you also find out that the golden ratio also applies to hurricanes, spiral galaxies, and objects at the quantum level too.